Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another edition of Foodie Fridays. So this Foodie Fridays, we are making another keto recipe, but I don't like to call it that because this is also a paleo gluten-free recipe. It's just a chicken recipe, y'all. So it doesn't have to be a specific diet. You can eat this on any journey or if you're not on a journey at all. So I do label it as keto, paleo, gluten-free, but it's just a regular chicken recipe recipe, but just know that it fits in those categories. So the ingredients you're going to need are six boneless chicken thighs. I'm using skin on mine because that's what I had on hand, but I would definitely go for the boneless next time and the skinless because I think that will keep the flavor on the chicken and not on the skin that we personally don't eat anyway. You're going to need a tablespoon of olive oil, one lemon zested and juiced, one teaspoon of dried basil, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon or more of black pepper, and a half a cup of chicken stock. And then fresh basil is optional, but I definitely recommend it. So if you want to see how to make this super easy, cheap, crock pot easy recipe, keep on watching this video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our olive oil and you're going to sprinkle it on the bottom of your crock pot. Remember, we need a tablespoon. So you want to try to coat the bottom so none of your chicken sticks and gets all funky on there. I don't know about y'all, but I hate cleaning up a crock pot. I usually do use the liners, but in this case, the olive oil worked out perfectly. Then we're going to take our chicken and we're going to put it on top of the olive oil and just kind of press it in there and make sure it all fits. I use exactly six chicken thighs here, but you can use like like a pound or a pound and a half. Then we're gonna take our lemon and we are going to juice it. Now, what I should have done is I should have zested it first and then juiced it, but I had a mom brain moment. As y'all know, I have those often here on my channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and juice it first. So the whole, all the juice of the lemon, that juicer I got from Walmart, just the manual one and this little strainer, and I love using it. it works so well and inexpensive and pretty easy. So we're gonna take our juice and put it all over our chicken thighs. So you just wanna spread it all over. No rhyme or reason here, just make sure it gets into to the crock pot and then what we're going to do is we're going to add our chicken broth and remember with our chicken broth we are going to be adding half a cup of our chicken stock I'm just going to go in with this organic because that's what I had on hand too I think this is low sodium and I do like purchasing that one from Walmart if you're interested now we're going to go in with our dry ingredients so I'm going to go in with my dried basil one teaspoon so sprinkle it all over and like I said if you had skinless chicken thighs all of these spices would be on the chicken and on the skin because we don't eat the skin so my problem was is that I didn't have all that spice on my actual chicken I just had it on the skin which I didn't eat so that would be the thing I do next time I added my garlic powder and now I'm gonna go in with my black pepper if you've watched any of my foodie videos you'll know that I am heavy-handed with the black pepper I think it is an amazing seasoning with nothing to worry about as far as putting it in your food for caloric intake carbs, whatever, and it just adds a ton of flavor. So I always go a little buck wild with the black pepper. Now here is my zester. This is the one I've had for years. It works great. Again, I think I got that at Walmart or Bed Bath, at Bed Bath & Beyond. Don't quote me on where I got that. So as y'all can see, I'm going in and I am zesting the lemon after it's been juiced, but that's okay. And I'm showing you here all the zest that you want to get in there. That zest gives a ton of flavor. I love putting lemon zest in savory dishes and especially when baking. I love me some zest. So put the lid on guys and we are going to cook our chicken on low for four to six hours. You're gonna see me cook mine for exactly six hours. Mine was bone in and it had skin on it and it was the perfect 
um, temperature for mine and the length. If I was going skinless and boneless, probably more on the four hour side. So now I'm going to take my fresh organic basil. I chopped it up, put it on there, sliced up some remaining lemons I had on hand to make it look extra fancy. I would always, I would also squeeze a little lemon juice and maybe add a little bit more zest after it cooks as well, just to give it a little bit more pop and flavor. I think that would be really yummy. So that way you can definitely taste the lemon flavor. So guys, give this video a thumbs up if you look forward to Foodie Fridays every single week here on my channel. I know a lot of y'all on Instagram has said that y'all are waiting for this recipe. So here it is. Y'all definitely follow me over there because y'all see everything I make and take pictures of in the moment. You don't have to wake, wait a week or wait two weeks sometimes. I'm, I'm keep y'all in suspense, I know, with Instagram. But definitely follow me over there and eventually they get over here to YouTube on Foodie. But if you want to see stuff in the moment, I always post it over there on Instagram. Y'all make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're not with me already. I'd love to have you a part of the YouTube family here. I am on the keto train with the ketogenic lifestyle since January 1st, and I am posting keto friendly recipes every Friday here on my channel. If you're not following me already, I'd love to have you. Y'all have an awesome Friday, an amazing weekend. Y'all come back and let me know if you make this recipe. I This recipe is amazing. We will definitely be making it again. It's definitely a keeper. I just wanted to mention those suggestions to you. I always like to mention things that I would do different next time for you guys so you don't make the same mistakes or you go ahead and make it awesome the very first time. So love y'all. Have an amazing weekend. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.